welcome back to an all new episode of the Saturday Detention Podcast. Slight name change, still getting used to it. What, joining me this week is it's Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Hey, yo, what up? Is it like, did you ever get Saturday Detention growing up? Is that a thing? I mean, it's on Spotify. I just have to change the YouTube channel at some point when I'm. No, not... but like, in mm. school, did you ever get like a weekend detention? Is oh, that no. an actual thing for you? Uh, no, no, I was never bad enough. The worst I got was suspended for a day in ISS in middle school. Okay, one, I don't know what ISS is off the top in of my head. School, Two, in school suspension. Okay. I think a suspension is worse than a detention. Yeah, of course. So you, But you said literally I wasn't bad enough to get one of those, yeah, but I, I did I, get suspended. I, so, like, there are regular uh, suspensions, and there's suspensions on, and there's detentions on Saturday. I feel like that's worse because they make you come yeah, in on Saturday. Probably right. Like, bitch, I could be asleep. That's true. I always, like, had school, like, because I played sports growing up. We're really off topic already. No, it's like, fine. I had... This is fine. I had, I had like... I did sports and stuff, so, so my games were on Saturday morning. Oh, so, so you like, couldn't get the tension. Jealous. Nah. Well, I could, but it's just like I'd miss the game. The worst, the worst was like we had a game, we had an away game, and it was against like our farthest opponent. And so, like, the game starts at eleven a.m. in the on morning on Saturday, Ew. but it's like an hour and a half drive. Ew. But because it's football, you have to get there an hour before the game starts. So we left at like eight in the morning to Gross. get there. That's why I don't play sports. Speaking of sports... It was kind of relaxing, though. Get donuts before the game. Speaking of sports, uh, we're going to talk about the best sport of all. Trying to keep attention while watching Groovy, because oh, oh no. Oh, Oh, yeah, like, I never... I never... I don't know why. Maybe it was because I was more actively watching the first three seasons. I did not really have that problem until, like, this season. I feel that it's just everything is stress. I'm I I feel stress watching this show, and I finished sort of season eight last night, and just like, yeah, the Ruby's worse. Like, well, I wouldn't. I haven't seen sort of. I don't. My I don't thing recommend with it. my thing with my thing with Ruby, I do I do like the show. I Same. do think it is. It's not just okay. It's like somewhere between okay and good. Yes. But I've watched it so much that I'm invested and I'm just going to keep watching. Yes. I had this realization watching it today. Originally, we would say I watched Ruby for the fights. And I, I did. Because the fight choreography... That. Originally, I did. Because like the fight choreography in the first few seasons it wasn't animated well, but it did look cool. True. I now watch it... like The balance of relationships, as stressful as it is, is pretty good. Yeah, some people I wouldn't say the writing is good, it. but like character motivation, pretty good. Um, it's just I like the, the themes characters. they touch on. I like them yeah. now, but like I never watched it for the fights. My friend was like, "Hey, watch this show. It's got girls beating ass." I was like, "Okay, that was it." That you had me like, at girls. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like girls fighting with cool weapons. All right, bet. Awesome. This is neat. And and now I'm just like, I don't care. <laughs> just end, please. Just end. It was more like. I was scrolling. The reason I found the show is because I found RVB first, and like that's how I found Rooster Teeth. And then it became, well, I like I like the people because I didn't. I never made the connection that RVB is also the Let's Play and also a Chiba Hunter. And so like as I was making like all those connections for the first time, I was like, let's see what else they make. Just scrolling through their like playlists, I'm like, oh, this looks cool. And I keep seeing ads for Ruby. Let's watch it. And then I watch like the first like four episodes all together because they're only like eight minutes back then, and I'm like, good old days. "Yo, this show kicks ass! This show kick like literally kicks ass." Uh, I'm, mm, I oh we're not doing that. Oh wait, that, this is different audio. Um, I'm the opposite. I saw Ruby, and then my friend was like, "Here's who makes it." And I'm like, "I don't care about any of these people." That's fair. And then I kind of started to care. Now I don't care anymore. It's it's a love hate relationship. Like there's so much that's gone on like over the last few years. I, I it's not it's not as it's not as bad as people on YouTube like to make it out like it's the death of this company. D- businesses change and the people and the content they make change. 
if you're making the same, like if you were making a podcast about the same show every week, it would get so tiring to watch, to listen, or to even listen to. That's why we don't do that here. Exactly. So like the content and like the characters and the people have to change. Like RVB is such a different show this season. That's a topic for a whole other day. If but, I ever get to that, but listen, I'm on like season 10. I'm just like, this is enough. It. I watch them in bursts. I never watched. Like, I used to watch it like all at once. But it's like so diff. It changes so much just by like who was writing it and like everything. Yeah. The comedy's still there. And I watched it mostly just for like the character interaction. But it was. No. RV, RVB's really good though. But. Uh, Ruby is right now RT's bread and butter, and in more yeah. ways than one. We'll get to that later, though. So you want to start from the beginning, or where you, how you want to tackle this, homie? Of when you do like the beginning of like what we think of the show from the start to what it is now. Like, what do you? Sure. Well, sure. I mean, we kind of touched on it before. The beginning of, of Ruby is, it's it's more shorthand. It was, I think, 8 to 10 minutes. And then about end of season 1, season 2, I think the, the fight scene where they save the town, which I think is, is that the end of season 1? Uh, no, that's 2 with uh coco and them the team coco coffee. and them that that yeah team coffee and like yeah, that that's that's, that's really what it changed because like like season one is just this short neat little story and season two really expand like it's a show now it's not just like a bunch of characters that we think are cool a bunch of different animations that we want to try like there's like we're gonna create some lore we're gonna create some character backstory we're gonna create some motivation and I think when you start to see in season three with the tournament arc, uh, that's when like the, the show really like steps up its game. And I think season three is still probably the best season, regardless of what how how people think the ending, like how that makes them feel. I think it's still we, the best. We have a friend I, that's just like, hey man, you gotta get over it. It's been five years now. Oh, listen, man, I love, I love. Uh, interacting with people who like want her back no nah. i don't know what no nah, man be i've been making <laughs> i've been making jokes about her being dead for so many years you have you know, at one point we were like stop now we're just like no nah. it's it's don't she care. got thanos snapped and that was my favorite one uh oh, I the ruby like i don't that. feel so good I never thought about it like that. Damn. She she really did just get Thanos snapped, and it's before, crazy. Before it was cool. Um, um, I think Volume Four and Five are very very good because they set up a lot of things that come later. And just here's here's your lore dump. Please go away. Or was that six? It might have been. Six. I think. Because we were, I was still in college with you. Um. Cause that was the whole we're gonna make a half hour long episode and everyone's like oh this is neat is that I think also spoilers we haven't spoiled anything but spoilers yeah uh if you've made it this far thanks you for some reason like hearing us talk right it's uh, strange we this... haven't even talked about anything yet um let's talk about where things went bad bad quote unquote. It, it's really a subjective thing like i think so obviously in order to address the bad you have to address what happened to the show i feel like you have to address you know, monty passed away a yes. horrible thing um that affected not only like ruby but ruby as a whole and like the community as a whole not just rt's community but i think that's where the community just like went to shit it <laughs> I wouldn't say it went to it like there was a shift like people wanted it to be they wanted people now had and I was like, people no. people that didn't like it you couldn't have stopped after three seasons but people that didn't like it or that wanted to not like it now had an excuse i feel like yeah to not like it it's like oh you're ruining what monty created i, I don't think I that's really the hate case. that argument i really hate that argument because how the fuck do you know what what do you want it 
Exactly. You, you didn't like, know. Him. I do think, I do think that if Monty was still with us, uh, things would be different in how like things have structured. Yeah. But I do think generally this is kind of a path we would have gone on. We probably just would have got there sooner. Uh, I think that season four and five. I'm looking at them as much I'm as you can like right now. See, so season four is set up. Yeah. Oh yeah. I I I think they're trilogies. They just set up the next trilogy, which is cool, but a little annoying because it's a lot of it's all kind of fucking waiting. So see, but like season four and five are set up. So you wanted five. Oh, there's gonna be some payoff. There were some. Yeah. There were some. Really get it? I would like to disagree because they get to um. I I I blend four, Atlas, five, and six no, all together. Are we at seven right now, or is it eight? We're in eight. Okay. Because five is where they get to the school. That's where, where it is. Ily- Ilya's like, I'm a lesbian. I'm like, okay, that's cool. And then Raven's like, I'm the other maiden bitch. And I was like, well, we we kind of figured that a little, but like, I, cool. I mean, yeah, we figured something like that was the case. Um. I didn't... Ruby has this weird thing where, like, big... Pro... And I guess shows in general do it. But, like, they do big moments and reveals too casually. Like, big lore moments just kind of happen with... Like, the specific example will uh i think it's in volume six mm-hmm. where they go over the whole backstory of oz yep that's episode and, three i'm looking at it right now yeah it's oz and uh salem. what's her salem. salem's backstory like that whole episode it's a great episode probably arguably one of my favorite episodes they've made it's, um, it's one, of the, one of their most commented uh like it just kind of happens like there's no like well no there there is some setup for it oh they, there is setup they train wreck and then they're like all right how what? do we save it and there's like I, I guess we talk to Jin and Jin's like here's some here's some lore okay bye don't talk it's, to me again it's it's more of like uh like yeah that that's but all that's all the setup we get there's no like I wonder what the the relationship between those two is. And I guess we get that throughout other seasons, but it's not like... Well, no, that's what that episode is. It gives us their relationship. And, and yeah, it's like, just like, all right, now what? There was no questioning of what their relationship was. They We knew they were like opposite ends of the spectrum, but we didn't know why. We I wanted more questions as to why to then force out that answer. Where I mean, like, when we get this, the there's some catharsis. I get that, episode. but no, like... I don't know. I feel like it, it was too significant of an episode. And this maybe it just isn't the best example. Where, like, big moments and big things that should feel big aren't as big as they could be. And there's not enough catharsis there. I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know what that word means because I'm dumb. Uh, there's the process of releasing and providing some sort of form of release of strong emotions. Okay. So like it's it's I, like I kind of get that now. It's it's stress relief. Where all, like all this show does is make me more stressed. Yes, that that is something I will very much say. The biggest the biggest one, I know we're jumping around here with moments, but is in what is it? I think it is again season 6, the the empath, the empath or whatever they call it. Uh mm. no, 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 it's not. What is it called? The sure. one thing the one that sucks up your emotions and makes you, like, not want to do anything. Oh, that's... I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, apathy. The apathy. Me. Got you. Um, because I, I look, just looked up the list. The, the apathy is terrifying. I feel like that was... I, I don't like how that started off, though, to be honest. I felt like, it's like, hey, there are these things out there that can just make you lazy enough to just want to die. And I was like... Where are these things been hiding? How did how have these things not won yet? I feel like that that is a far too strong enemy to show off in the second episode of a season. 
Well, they've had they said they had that idea for it for a long time. In but... season two, like it was one of the care like yeah, but Grimm the... they wanted, but they I never wouldn't... actually got the chance to show it off. Yeah, but I wouldn't have shown it off that early in the season. That's like a that's like a mid season boss. Not hey, this is how we're gonna start the season of the show. That's I guess fair. I still think though, as terrifying that is the uh, the horseman one. As the, I try to the look knuckles, find it. knuckle something. That's season uh, four. It's, no, it's five. The no, it's four. imp. It's just called the imp, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's a connection to it. Uh, oh well, it's the combination is called the uh, uh, Nukalave, a Nukalive. I don't know how to pronounce words. It um, means the foreign words. I won't give you any. Yeah. Uh, N U C K, E, L V E E. Ah yeah, spell it, spell the dyslexic. Yeah. <laughs> I listen. I'm not much better, but, but I I do think I don't know. You you can go ahead because we're kind of lost on what we're talking about. All right, so let's let let's backtrack to volume six, seven. This is technically the start of the next trilogy, if that's how you want to choose to look at it. So we started off real. They did the thing where we does where it's like okay, things are getting better, things are fine. And and then just hey I, that happiness you have that 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 feeling of security, I'm gonna take that away. Can I borrow that? And by borrow, I mean never give it back. Thank just, you. I just, I'm just gonna hold on to this for like. They destroy it in front of hour. your face too. Yeah, it's kind of like just crumple it up in their hands, then just throw it to the side. I believe it was the Aesop's that you were like, yeah, these are Aesop's fables. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I'm just like I wanted, so I thought it was. So they're called Ace Ops. This is an Ace Operatives. I yeah. thought they were called the Ace Ops because they were all related to a different Ace fable. Ops fable. Yeah, but I mean they, they're they kind of not. No, they're not. No. I don't. I don't know as many Ace Ops fables as I used to. I know Totus and the Hare is the big one. Um, I don't know if there's anyone related to Elms. Uh, but so that that is one thing. That's like one of my favorite things about the show, other than the music, is that everything is connected to some some type of mythos or lore as soon as I can find these fucking kids <coughs> like the the current generation they're all named after uh, colors for whatever the fuck reason that speech Osbin gave in season 2 yeah. I'd, I'd know if I'd paid more attention then you have the Aesop's Fables I believe Oz is um not generation, but like his grouping of people is Wizard of Oz. It's like little things on the nose like that. I'm like, okay, that's cute, but like, I want to know what the fuck is a juniper? Juniper is a type of tree. Yeah, when I when I hear tree, I don't I don't fucking think of nothing about that team makes me think of trees other than Pira, and Pira's fucking dead. And I'm like, well, what? Uh, I mean, well, Nora, Nora and hers, because it's like, uh, I wanna, I can't remember what her actual semblance is called, but like Nora, I know specifically is like with the thunder and the hammer, it's, it's basically met in Nora, yeah, it's Nora, Nora Valkyrie, it's like a very, uh, Greek, not Greek, uh, but like Norse, like, yeah. Like connection to it, hence why she has the, the, th the electricity power, which is Thunder always. Up, I, but we don't get there. Oh uh, yeah, we'll get there. Uh, it's always really. I think is really well used. Um. But like, what the fuck is Oscar? Just a name, generic, like an everyday. I I was giving it more. It's his name is Oscar, which it sounds generic and everyday use because he's a farmer. Oz. Oz just picks everyday normal people to become him. You wanna you wanna touch on that and how that's, that's just all types of fucked. Oh yeah, the fact that he literally just plucks people from their everyday life and it's like, yeah, uh, I'm You're just gonna, gonna be me. 
yeah, uh, your soul is mine. You're still going to exist for a while, but slowly but surely, I am going to become you. Yeah, no, that's that's all types of fuck, because that that should be Ozpin's cur or Ozma's curse, not, hey, you going to drag someone with you every 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 time you die, you're going to drag someone with you. Like, that's kind of fucked. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't get how the, the gods are like, all right, you got to kill your wife. It's like, okay, but like... Also, a thing of note is like... She, uh... Not she. Um... Oscar had, like... I, Oscar's a child, a literal child, so like... Oscar's 15. Is, yeah, it's still a child. Mm -hmm. I assume still lives with, like... His I mean, he family. Lived, he, he lived with his aunt, and then he just kind of dipped. Whoa. I, I I do hope at some point in life we go back to her. Like, just like... As if, like, she's been... Thought Oscar has been dead for, like, some lo a long amount of time, and he's been kind of chilling. That would be funny. We're not chilling. No, I know what you mean. No, um, like... No, go ahead. No, I just kind of want to. Uh, I lo I love it when stories go back to, to family members of characters, that we've, like when we saw Jean's family. You mean his one sister and her wife? And I was like, all right, you got six more. Where are the other ones? Just think he's been alive for a long time. Yeah. You want? All right, we want. We want to talk about now. I was gonna say, do we want to go into like uh, different characters? Because that is a thing we could do. Let's talk about uh, more uh, obscure. Not obscure, but like... I want to talk about the gods for a second. And like, Cinder. Not Cinder, Salem. Because I don't... I think Salem has a plan. It's just not... It's, it's not going to go her way. At all. No, yeah. Her... I honestly just don't know what her plan is. So... Just because she shit she, up, she, that's about it. She wants to get rid of it. Okay, so in in episode three of season whatever, when when all the back when all the lore and stuff is happening for Ozma and Salem, the gods are like, "Hey, control your wife. When you want to summon us again, gather the four relics, and we're gonna judge humanity. If you guys pass, we'll let you live." If you fail, we're wiping you all out again. I was like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm like, why does Salem want to gather the relics? I mean, if she knows what that's the, the plan, is she trying to kill herself and kill everyone else in that process so she can finally die? Yeah. Is what she want? Is what she want actual to literally just to die? I'm wondering if, like, she know. Is she, she, she was cursed by them, correct? Like yes. that was like the she, established thing. You have, to, you're gonna live forever, so you will experience I'm loneliness. And I was like, Damn. I'm wondering if her thought process is, if I destroy everyone, I still won't die. I can shape this world in my image. She's sort not, of like, no, she can't be that dumb. Listen, um, the gods are I mean, like she's, everyone. That includes you. You are a part of everyone. But it's it's more of like a... It does lift her curse in a way. If she just wants effort, like... If, if I she wants die, her curse gone so bad... Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, she wants that curse gone so bad. That's something could, she could be willing to do. I mean, hey, this is my issue. I'm like, okay... Ruby's semblance, silver eye, power, bullshit. I'm like, yo, what if she can that just like remove the curse? She just stares at Salem real hard for a while. I'm yeah. I I wonder how that connects because I don't think to go on something. I don't think her plan to is something like you see in a show like Shira, where there's this ultimate weapon that she wants to harness and use. To destroy everything and recreate the world in her own image. I don't think she has that thought process. Because I don't think that power exists in the world. Because the relics will just summon the gods. It's not like they create a super weapon. Yeah. 
but also like we know the lamp has a power yeah you get you get the genie and you get, you get one the... question or you get eight you get three questions but they're down to the last one yeah also do the other relics have creatures attached to them like we know the I staff of creation has can lift things i guess does uh, it i didn't think about like does that. it have like a another like godlike entity or protector it within it like the lamp does i don't and what can that he know. or she do i don't think we know i think the lamp is special i don't because we haven't seen the other two relics or oh, in modern time we, we know what they look like but i don't oh here's the here, button um we still have a sword and a crown to go find and i'm like okay but like where <laughs> because the crown Close. is hidden super tucked away somewhere they have the lamp they have the staff and that sword is fucking somewhere. the lamp was with leo right what oh yeah neo what? took the lamp because they're like all here. no no because the oh, lion yeah. Dude. okay yeah they were was... all at the different schools right yeah yes the beacon one is unknown the lamp is out and about and the staff is in atlas but it's technically in the vault but they can just I'm go i'm still mad and we're not going to get it now because we're past the point. I always thought my head came in for what was going to... Something that was going to happen was... um, They would do all this... Put all this effort in to protect uh, Atlas. And then at the very end, like they're like, Hey, I wonder how all of our friends are doing in Mistral. And it would cut down and they're just wiped the fuck out. Like everybody's dead. Salem's in control. She's holding Sun by the neck like, oh, you're a fighter, but I'm still going to kill you. And just everybody's dead. See, that would be, that would make for a way more interesting show. But like, that's, I, I, I think that can still happen because we don't know what's going on in the rest of the world, which is something I don't really like about the show. It's focusing on one place at a time, not what's going on over here. That's mm -hmm. why I like seasons four and five because they're like, here's what, what all the girls are doing. Exactly. So that's not completely unfeasible. It's just very unlikely. Yeah. If, um... No, because Hazel... Hazel's just beating the shit out of Oscar now, so... Yeah, so uh, now we can talk about what's yeah, going on like recently. You can say you want to get in the volume 8. And just the to get To get in the volume stress. 8, we learned... We learned to so two the I'm more in the things that I'm most interested for this show so far in season eight is what the hell is Ironwood's plan? I don't know. I don't think he has a plan anymore. I really to just don't. I mean, his plan is to to protect like Atlas, the school, yeah, um, and the elite, that's which it. I don't think. He, yeah, that's it. Um, how is he achieving that? C fucking kill. Like that moment, Dude, like we jaw on the floor. Shot that nigga, I was just what? like, "Oh, that nigga's dead." He's just, oh no. He's like, "Oh, he, that man is no longer with us." It's just no? in front of everyone too. It's not like he like sent them into a room and then killed him. Like, oh my god, no, just went point blank. Yeah, who's gonna fucking stop me? Um, and yeah, no, this nigga's a bad then guy now. His his next device is, hey. You know this person that's working with everybody's mortal enemy and probably still has ties to everyone's mortal enemy? Let's work with him. Watts. Let's just let's just bring him back into the fold and have him ha let him have access to all of my security systems. There's yeah, no way that doesn't like, backfire for him. Like, stupid. Listen, like listen. I like Watts is doing like Watts is gonna full send. I think Watts is gonna yeah, hey, I'm just gonna hack into Penny now, and she's. Oh, of course, that's what last. That's, that's what last what's gonna happen. About. But I generally think there's. It's gonna like he's like yeah, she no longer works for you guys. She works for Salem, and Ironwood to go. Excuse me, and he was like, "Oopsie daisies, bye." So I do think you're correct. That whole in the um 
opening animation when Penny goes from green to red. I'm like, oh, okay, that's, that's what that means. If that oh, doesn't happen, I'll be fucking shocked. Uh, um, me personally, I would have been like, okay, if I'm Ironwood, yeah, I'm gonna make him do this thing. The second he's done, I'm gonna fucking shoot him in the face. We're done. We're done. I I'm generally done. think that could still happen. Like that as could soon still as Penny, happen. As soon as Penny just turns, uh, God damn, I'm gonna kill just, you. Sorry, dude. He knows too much. He does know too he's much. I feel lied. like he's lied. I I feel like uh, Watts might die. I, I think Iron want him to. I, oh, I Ironwood has to. Someone I think Ironwood dies. I don't know who. Ironwood dies. Well, we. I am still of the opinion. One of the four main girls will die. I don't think. Not this season. I don't think so. Not this But eventually. Man, it'll probably be Blake. Uh, I'm, I'm they won't, they, Yang. They won't kill Ruby. Yang has had her arm. Weiss almost got killed. And it has to be Blake. Mm, I don't know. I feel like killing Yang would give Ruby, like, anger. It's like, this is what anger feels like. You've been mad, but you've never been angry. Killing any one of them would just send them all into a bloodthirsty rage. You mean, but, we saw her kill Pira and what happened. She just, but no, she she just turned on her silver eyes. I think Ruby's going to go, okay, I'm going to keep that in my back pocket. I'm about to start murdering people. Fuck this. Oh, my God. Fuck this. Just start snapping necks. Yes. Um, I don't think they're gonna kill Weiss because she no. hasn't really. I want to say she hasn't done a whole lot, but she has. She has, but she hasn't. She's just kind of here. Blake is just like I'm gonna. I'm gonna worry about my girlfriend? Question mark. Did they ever confirm that? I still don't. Know. Uh, I mean, you saw today in today's episode as we record this. Uh, episode four just came out. Yeah. When she's asked, I hope she's not mad at me. No, Ruby isn't, isn't going to be mad at you. Yeah, Ruby. I definitely was talking Dude. about so I, Ruby whoa. and not my uh, well, no, cause, uh, goth cat girlfriend. Uh, I was watching that and Shawnee was behind me. And I said, oh, very loud. And she just kind of looked at me. I was like, she's talking about her mom. Yeah, her mom's probably still She's thinking about her mom and how she's a disappointment in her head. I'm just like, that makes sense. Now I'm just like, that doesn't make a lot of sense anymore. Yeah, that makes sense, narrator. It didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Nah, man. Cause like, it's... what's that bitch doing? <laughs> Where's she at? Bitch, come help and fight. As we saw last year, uh, what did that? Who was it? Um, the dog guy. He's like, man, y'all work together a lot. Maybe we should partner up. And them just like, just be like, okay, this this is why we work well together. And him just going. Oh, cool. Ignore well, me. <laughs> well, I I do think everyone should learn to work with each other to be that much more effective in battle. But at the same time, hey, man, stick to what you know so you don't die. Yeah. Also, I think he's gonna turn. Like, obviously, that has to happen. I don't like, know if one of boys gonna turn. I I I generally I generally think it's gonna be one of those like. Harriet's about to kill somebody. He just goes, stay. That would be very nice. Harriet's and then fuck the, every, the at, uh, What's her name? Oh, the Tell the Truth Lady like was perfectly correct today. Which Rob, is, uh, which uh, Robin. Robin. Or, was, I call her Shantae because it's Shantae's voice actress. And like, oh, was, I can only <laughs> hear Shantae. She was perfectly right when she said, you're not looking for the truth. You're just looking for someone to be mad at. I was I just love, like, damn, that was a good line. Like, that was a good line and good the, line delivery. Every once in a while, they do have, like, really good, like... The voice acting, like, little moments not, like that. It's the voice like, acting, mm. I think, has always been... The voice acting hit or miss. When they have actual voice actors, it's pretty good, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I love... I, I love Shannon... Not Shannon. Um, Wash... No, his name's not Washington. That's the character he plays. Oh, no, yeah, his name is Shannon McCormick, I think. The voice actor for Ozpin, love his mm. voice acting. I love yes. his voice. Um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll give you that one. Uh, just because he can do, like, I've seen him do other things. He can do, like, the super silly, like, what is going on, but also do the, 
Like, I want to see him read the line from Taken where it's like, they're going to take you. I will find you, but I will... Cl-. I want to see him do that, like, level of stuff. Because I think, anyway. That'd be interesting. Oh, I feel that. Um, yeah. Let's talk about the Hound. Dude. <laughs> so, I, I talked to uh, a friend of ours, Alex, about this. Um, That... I think, and and I guess I got it got deconfirmed today, and I was a little upset by it. I thought the hound was going to be something along the lines of like, we can't, uh, like it takes so much out of Salem to make a hound. Nah. That, but now nah, those things are terrifying. Like looking at it today, the fact that like it's, like not really skin, but whatever it's made out of, like its grim parts still move. Yes, that, like that just is walking, terrifying, disturbing. Holy heck! So we're gonna talk. We're, all right, we're talking about volume eight now, officially. Like they they did the thing again. We're episode two. I'm like, all right, things aren't that bad. And then the Grim spoke, and we were like, okay, it's intelligent. It can hold conversation. Oh, and the no. fact that it, it like called like the today it called for backup. Backup was like oh, just a growl. I was like oh, oh no. Like we knew we knew Grim had intelligence because of the elephants that yes. we saw in season two, where they're like, no, they're not gonna, they're not gonna they, attack because they, they know they die. Yeah, yeah. They, they one, they're risking their lives for that, and they're not gonna do that. Or two, it's like the meal itself isn't gonna be worth it. I don't sense enough fear in this. Um, but, like, to use that intelligence is something completely different, and we haven't seen that. It's fuck. <sighs> and she can just go and make more now, and I'm just like, hmm. Just what she made? Did she make one or two? I thought she made she's, two. She's just made the one. Hmm. However, <laughs> she could very well, when she was talking to Cinder, she could have just been like, all right, gonna go make more. Bye. Yeah, like, I hate... I honestly just kind of, I don't I'm, get Cinder. I really don't. What do you mean? She wants to kill Ruby and be like, aha, I was useful. I'm like, we forgot to hear Cinder. Oh, she I died. Like, I also, I just don't, I don't get Cinder just being like, yeah, I want to do stuff. I also don't get people, um, I don't get Emerald being like, hey, yeah, I want to hang out with my friend. Like, you know I she's mean, been gone that long. There's no way she's, like, your friend. Okay, she's got, like, that unhealthy loyalty. Now, cause I, I kind of draw comparisons to Ilya with that, and I'm like, hey, man, you need to stop. You you just need to stop. <laughs> you need to see the bigger picture here and go, I, I'm just going to follow orders so I can go home. Because Mercury's just like... I I am here. If I am asked to fight, I will fight. That's about it. He's he's pretty much going to be the next Hazel when someone kills Hazel. But you know, with more attitude. It, it, em, Emerald's just literally there. I'm just like Emerald, you're annoying as shit. God, I don't. I really don't like Emerald. Nah, I don't. Like oh, no, the... her character served her purpose. Yeah, I'd say that. Same with Mercury. Although Neo had my favorite, <laughs> she had she. I feel like she she said the best scene. I'm just gonna marry Poppins down to the airship. I was like, yeah, right, that was like that was, that nice. was like. It's just a, like I love the subtlety of her just being like, I don't have to walk. Cool, Fuck and then walking. just kind of dip it. Like, yeah, I ain't gonna walk. <laughs> These things were made for walking. I still love her so much, even though she's yeah. a bad guy. When was she not? Like, what do you eat? Always has been there, bud. Listen, no, I said even though she's the bad guy, I still love oh, her. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with liking a bad guy. I I don't understand her character, but I still think Cinder is cool. I, I don't... Not in the same way you think Neo is cool, but... I mean, I'm not... We're not that's, that's for a different podcast. Um, I just really... I don't... I, okay, so Neo's supposed to be mute. Supposedly. 
I just the strong desire and will to not talk. That's my thought process. I was going to say, like, I feel like she can't 100% talk. She's just like, no, none of you were worth hearing my voice. And it's like, all right. Yeah. R- rude, but... Uh, you know. I, I've taught... I mean, I had this... Th- well, her voice actors, technically, for when she make, does make, like, actual, like, noises, is, uh... It's Casey Lee Williams. It's Casey. At, so, technically speaking, Dolly. all the theme songs are sung by Neo... I don't like that. <laughs> it's a, it's the same. It's the same. Like I used to have this thought because the in the white trailer you see Weiss singing, and yeah. the person singing is Casey, and so I was like, technically speaking, it's canon that uh, Casey sings all of the different themes, mm-hmm. but or that uh, Weiss sings all the different themes. The music also this season is. The theme is probably my favorite, like intro. Oh, I like, disagree. I super disagree. Like the fir- okay, the first few seasons are still like I have nostalgia for more, but like the song itself, along with the animation it has, I think is probably my favorite. I'll give you the animation. I won't give you the song. I don't like how hard they switch styles just right at the freeze frame. I'm just like, please don't do this. Uh, I like. I, I like. I like stuff say... like that. Uh, what is... Was it last volume or volume six? I think volume six has my favorite soundtrack. Uh, volume three has mine. Just the different ones they use the tournament arc. I will give you when, um... Y steps into her power. And then they, they play the one song. I was like, oh, that's actually really good use of this song. Uh, I like my favorite, other than like song. My favorite song in all of it is uh, "Red Like Roses" Part Two. Um, Damn. And then I think my favorite like score part is uh, "Funky" versus uh, "Team Ruby," uh, which is <sighs> like it uses the. It's that that um. You like jazz? Oh, uh, it's it's Kyle. the jazz. It's the jazz, but also when they go to the, uh, I mean, in the actual scene, it's Weiss fighting and just kicking, kicking butt. Oh, yeah, that's and Weiss. no, no, it's not Weiss. It's yeah, it's Yang because Yang's in that fight versus uh, Funky. But um, it cuts to a jazz version of the original theme, and I'm like, this is so cool. It still makes me mad they won't do a full version. Yeah. Also, the scatting, the scatting of the theme song. That's actually really good. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I I do think Ruby does a good job. Like, of anything, animation is you can argue it's about whether better. it's good or not. I feel uh, you can argue about better. whether the characters are cool. You can argue about a lot of I don't, things. I, I, don't no, I don't think you can argue I don't that think the music you can just argue is. that the characters are aren't cool. Some characters are really fucking cool. You can't say yeah. that all these characters. But are like you can, you can argue cool. that like the characters, like every time they have a cool character design or something, they don't use it to its fullest potential. See the leader of the White Fang. Um, I mean, I never cared. Oh shit, that was just gonna be loud as fuck. I never cared for Adam, so I don't give a shit. It was more was... like they had this cool like character they hyped up and then just killed her off. But I don't think the one thing I don't think you can argue is that the music is is good. Like the music, just yes, the music is... is good. You can't, you can't argue with any yeah, of that one. Yeah, no. Jeff, Casey, uh, Jeff's ex-wife. Is is that really his ex-wife? <laughs> they got they got divorced at some point. And I was like, oh, I didn't okay. realize that was. I didn't realize that was his ex-wife. Yeah, her her mom is uh doing the vocals for Red and Like Roses Part Two, and then they got divorced at some point. I was like, oh, oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, no, I never made a connection. <laughs> I was like, I wasn't under the impression, but all right. Oh, Griffin. I thought you meant his first no. ex-wife. Yeah. No, not Never Griffin. made that connection. Fucking whatever. His first what, ex-wife? What the fuck is his... Uh, what is Casey's mom's name? A hell if I know. Uh, oh, you meant Jeff. You meant Jeff... Yeah, Jeff Williams. Jeff Williams. I thought you meant yeah. Jeff Ramsey. I was thinking... No, uh, that's that, kind of wild. He, he's a person. He, he exists. Smooth brain. Smooth brain. What else, man? We've been talking for a while. We really haven't. That was the bad part. <laughs> How long do you usually oh, record for? 90 minutes. 
Oh, shoot. Uh, That's kind of wild. It's not really. <laughs> I, suppose. I just never made a connection. I'm just used to... Uh, well, we, the Animal Crossing one, you and me, did, it was only an hour. Cause she's like, I only have an hour. It's like, all right, that's fine, I guess. I mean, I can go for as long as you want. I just didn't. I'm so used to recording with ASG. You were like, oh right, that's so. We have to turn it. We have to turn it down in like a five minute video. So like, recording for an hour would be hell. All right. Speaking of uh, other characters, Jean has really stepped it up. Like, I'm so proud of him. Yeah, man. He he still got the fuckboy haircut, but you know. We saw the the whole like he cheated his way in and now he's like a legitimate just as capable and as intelligent as, as anybody else. Like he doesn't have the flashy power that like a Ruby does or Nora, but he can still hold his own in any fight. Yeah, like just like the the chase scene today, he was like, Alright, I gotta think on the fly real fast and I'm like, Oh, look yeah. at him. Neat. I think of of any character, I think he's the most like aware and intelligent just because of like everybody else can use their they think of how they can use their skill set. He's trying to establish like how can I use my skill set to help everyone. He's the support yes. and that's always hard to do. He is a very good support. I will I will give him that wholeheartedly. I need, to, I need to make Yang stronger so she can punch harder? Cool. I need to make Rin cover a whole ass group of people? I got you. Yeah. Why is I'm... I'm, I'm gonna bring, bring my friend back to life, essentially. Yeah. Kinda wild. He, while he's not strong, per se, he's a fire emblem tactician. It's... I can't fuck shit up. Oh, an early Fire Emblem tactician. I can't fuck shit up, but I can tell people how to fuck shit up. Yeah. Y'all do all the fighting. I'm going to think for a bit and then come help. Mm -hmm. I love Fire Emblem 13, but don't. That's a... Ooh, that's a whole other... Ooh, don't want to talk about that right now. Um, I need Oscar to get his semblance real bad. Because that boy's going to get tortured real bad. I don't, I don't know, man. I mean, everybody does. Everybody have a symbol? It's not a thing. It's like can. Yeah. Everyone Every has everyone has something. But well, um, like, do everyday I mean, people do, have one too? I wouldn't see why they wouldn't. A semblance is a. I or, thought it was it more say, like a no, quirk. It does say certain characters. Yeah, I was about to say it, it. I thought it was like a quirk. Um, in my hero, where like certain people in society just don't have a semblance. They have an aura. Everyone well, has say, an yeah, aura. Everyone has an aura. But. Um, it can. Semblance is a manifestation of one's innate and personal power as an ability unique to each individual, with the effects varying greatly from user to user. With the sheer amount of people unlocking their semblance, it can lead to unrelated people ga gaining similar abilities. So, I mean, you can get a semblance just through being around people who have a semblance. So, That's like, wild. If, if Oscar spends enough time with them. Or, well, I mean, eventually their souls. Will. So we're gonna. I'm gonna hark back to to Demon Slayer for a second. That that is literally how the Demon Slayers, it towards the end, get their Demon Slayer marks. Because Tanjiro was like, "I did the thing," and they're like, "Show us." I can't do it. All right, everyone just hang out around Tanjiro until you get yours, and then that's what happens. And I'm like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, that's I, not, that's I, not I, I dumb. tried Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer wasn't for me, man. Did you finish it? No, I got to I got to Wolfhead Boy, and I was like, you know what, I'm I'm not invested. Oh, you mean a no scale? Nothing's happened yet. <laughs> yeah, it was just so much build up. I was like, this isn't for me. Me and Alex are gonna go risk our lives when the movie comes out stateside in seven months. It's fine. We'll be you okay. I was. I need to know why. Penny explained Ruby's semblance before she was like, yeah, this is how it works. She straight up went, I'm going to use science and explain how this works. And everyone was just like, hey, yo, why didn't you know that? And she was like, oh, I, I knew that. I just couldn't explain like that. And I'm like, shut up, Penny. No, shut up, Ruby. I don't know what the fuck your semblance does. So 
I feel like they're going to do the thing you said earlier where we have this information and nothing's going to come of it, which makes me very upset. Just like, yeah, because we because we, we saw that last season where she like split herself, and she's like, "You could do that," and she's like, like "Yeah, sure, that's awesome." And then uh, Penny's like, "Yeah, she can do a lot of shit. I can, I can." She's so her and Penny are so proud of herself when they like you could see that in their face if you pause, um, there that it shows like. Nora and Penny and Ruby are all like, yo, let's go. But this is my problem, though. They're gonna... We, we have new information about Ruby. They're not gonna... They're, they're not gonna do anything with that. Nope. Just... It's... That's, that's what's gonna bother me. It's no degree. Yeah. Like... Mm, Ruby no, herself, not. like, stuff happens to her, but I don't think really she's developed as much as she could as a character. Yeah. Because, like, that... stuff just happens to her, but she's still that, like, I'm a leader and I have to fight through it. Where, like, Yang, Yang Rio is like, she wants everything, but she also has, like, the emotion of, like, yo, I lost an arm for this. Uh, I have a uh, cat girlfriend now that I need to protect. Everything that's happened with Blake, uh, Weiss almost died too. Uh, yeah, so she realizes she, she realizes she has to get stronger. She just doesn't know how. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's kind of everyone's problem is they don't know they they don't know how to level up. They're they're at that that level barrier where they're just like, well, I can't do anymore. And grinding isn't really an option <laughs> right now. Mm-hmm. When the boss is like a. Hey, I see you, and you're like, oh, um, safe point is too far away. I just have to fight and pray to God this works. Because in today's episode, they're like, yeah, we don't know what we're doing. We're just kind of here. Which, I feel like they made the right calls for the situation. Because if they hadn't done certain things, it would have just been way worse. Like, I am 100% sure Austin would have been like, alright, I'm just going to kill you four girls for disobeying me. Eh. Let oh, me I'm not guess. I don't know, I feel like he's out for blood now. Oscar? No, I, no, Ironwood. Ironwood. Oh, you, I thought you said Oscar, I was like... No, Oscar's being tortured. Oscar's gonna die. That, mm, Like... Who's he come back as? Uh, some random person. Probably some random person in that in that list, to be honest. I imagine, like, if he comes back as somebody we already know. That'd be kind of wild. Oh, man. I don't, don't give him good ideas. They're not... Uh, dude... I feel like the show is good, but it has the potential to be great, and it's just... Yeah. Nah. Nah. Also, I want this show to end in Volume 10. I do not want this to be the next Red vs. Blue, or we'll keep making it as long as you guys keep watching it. I, I don't want that for this. Like, realistically, I think they would go up to Volume 15 and go, okay, we're done. Because we still have two other continents we haven't really been to. So... I, it's something not... I don't think Ruby will do. I think it'll end with destroying Salem and everything. I wish more shows... Uh, this is just more like desires of what I want uh, Ruby to do. I want more shows where like there's the all-powerful being that can destroy all that somehow gets ended. And then like, like, hey, everything's peaceful. Oh, there's this second... Not as powerful, but like equally as cunning like, big force that we have to get rid of type of thing. I could see that, like... I want they... I want more shows to do that. I don't think you really see that often, but... No, you do not. Like, I could see them taking down Salem, and then someone was just like, I was just waiting. Technically, I was just hoping you know, I would fuck up Salem. Because, like, in the middle of them rebuilding everything, they go, alright, I see what you're doing. 
fuck that. It's my turn. But I don't think they would do that. Because Ruby is a uh, money printing machine as of right now. Let me actually yeah. go to the fucking store. I honestly see 70% of theirs. Not 70% because they have so many different entities under their name. I don't know. Um, There's a lot. It's it's a cash cow. Like it's it's such a profitable thing, man. It's yeah. And they're not gonna kill it off anytime soon. Which I I don't even I... think that. I think. I mean, they're more. It it makes them like so much money. I don't think it's not about ending it. It's just being like, you know, here's how do we Pokemon this? <gasps> Wait, they how make do... they make Samsung cases for the scrolls. Oh no, fuck! You didn't know that. Yep. I, I, I think, think that's made, relatively new. They made iPhone cases, and everyone's like, all right, what if I don't own an iPhone? They were like, <laughs> you should own an iPhone. Hmm. This is nice. Uh, too bad I can't spend any more money this month. Hmm. I'll consider this at some point. But yeah, no, um, I, as much as I like Ruby, I do want it to actually fucking end, which I do not think yeah, it will anytime I think... soon. No. Because, like, it seems like it's setting itself up to end. I, I think 10. 10 is where I think it stops. I don't think so, because I don't think we're going to be able to cover two full-ass continents in two more I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're going to get those continents. I just think that's just... No. I just... All right, then how do you, how you think it's going to end? I, I don't know, and, and I guess that's the part I'm looking forward to is I don't I the fact that like this isn't like next season isn't last season they have talked about is really yeah, curious because like yeah that nine is the last one or ten I, I think I think we are very close just just like my hero is very close to the end unless we get a time skip if you're talking about manga the anime is still doing stuff yeah because well, like I'm not caught up on the manga because I got a new phone and all my stuff didn't transfer. And the the I'm manga, sorry. the mangas. I mean, they've talked about like it's been talked about that like, the creator like wants to do a time skip. Um, I personally think based on certain things we're close to getting that. Hold on, Sean, are you awake? Yeah, Deku was like, "I can fly now, bitch," and I'm like, "Okay, okay." And, and where did you at in the, the anime? I, I don't know if I they finished. Step foot, they step foot in the hospital. And I was like, oh, okay. I know um, Shiggy wakes up and he's like, all right, I'm going to fuck shit up now. I'm like, oh. Oh, are you talking about the manga? Yeah, like I know what happens. I just haven't read it, read it yet. Oh, uh, you haven't. Wait, what cha... what's the last chapter you read? Do you know? Uh, they step foot in the hospital. But I know Shiggy is like, I'm awake now. Oh, I'm okay, fuck okay, shit up now. okay, okay. So you're and not. Thing... You're probably. A... You're like. Maybe twenty chapters. No, I'm not <laughs> I don't care about spoilers. this beep. I'm like, oh okay. We pause. <laughs> All right. Spoiler break. Alright, we're a little over an hour. So you you want to talk about how them being bought out by Warner was a good thing. Julian uh, was like your friend, stupid. And I was like, I, I disagree. Didn't but, uh, go say on. I wanted to say how it affects production. Uh, I think, I think more to what you were saying with like, I don't see it ending. I don't, because of Warner owes them, I don't think it ends. I think the quality in which we get will be more consistent. I don't think we'll get like down or bad seat. I think there'll be a minimum that we'll get where the minimum for previous seasons of Ruby was lower. I think the minimum quality we get is going to be higher. Um, okay. Oh, this is nice. Just because, like, having that, like, financial stability of somebody big owning you and, like, generally caring, because Ruby is, is one of the most profitable franchises on the internet. I generally think that. Like, other than, like, a mainline thing. I was going to say, uh, like got some companies that won't like to have a talk with you. No, like, I'm not comparing it to stuff like Pokemon. I'm, like, saying, like, to most like internet only cultures, like I, I honestly just don't know what compare like a good comparison because Ruby is that like well known of a thing. 
I'll give you that. I can't really think of anything in it only besides like I guess Mega sixty four, but that's like a whole. I was gonna say I, I'd say it's, I'd say it's I'd say it's like the the first thing that comes to mind is like uh what's it called um game theory uh-huh. but game theory is more like i think Fuck. it's still more niche it's a good idea in concept but he's been doing it for so long that it's it's kind of ruined that said concept that's not even my issue he was just like corporate corporate corp corporate corporate yeah and i was like all right fuck you out there i mean no i think that and they stop being fair reasons just i'm gonna say this and people are gonna believe it it's more of like i i do think the the FNAF, I don't watch Game Theory. I only Same. really watch his FNAF ones. I don't honestly. even do that anymore. Uh, just because, like, he's put so much effort into trying to make a coherent story that it generally just isn't there. Like, there's what no way, like... What are you talking like, about? You gotta read the books and the comics and play the games different. and unlock all the stuff in the games. I'm just like, fuck you. But, and I think, like, stuff like that is cool. Um, like, Easter eggy stuff. If it was Easter eggy stuff, that would be fine. But it's yo, know, if you want to know everything, you gotta go read the book. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. That's my. Now, that's one of my issues with Ruby. They have, they have different. Yeah, Ruby's got a lot of different outlets. I, I forget like how many Morgan it actually books. has. Like you have you oh. have the show, you have now the manga, you the have manga. the wait wait wait. You've got the manga anthologies, which aren't canon and then you have the actual manga and then you have the dc comic and i was like stop right the fuck there i'm on the amazon comic, right now you have the scholastic and books as i pull out the the fable the fairy tales of remnant i'm just like can so i have stop please you know i have i uh i liked ruby chibi i thought that was fun uh, I, I know it's think not gonna ruby have a much better written show <laughs> uh well just because yeah you can with comedy only shows you don't have to worry about other things like maintaining the plot you can just write one-off bits like the bit where they're like uh uh nora refuses to admit that what's her name's dead i had no when she comes back and it's like nothing bad ever happened i'm like see that's fucking no don't you remember nothing bad yeah it was objectively funny um or the the one live action episode not live action no, it is live action because they like transform into figures, and then they worship the ugly Pira uh, plushie. Oh God! I, I feel I as much as I like Ruby, I don't want it to get mainstream. I guess would be the best way to describe yeah, it. Yeah, just like bloated with hit, different. It's just gonna hit like a Pokemon thing where I'm just like, all right, I don't. I don't care. I just want the fucking the game so I can be done. All right, Kyle. Anything else you want to talk about? Um, There's so much fucking shit to talk about. It's just... Let's let's. Uh, mm. We could talk. Like I generally just don't. I mean, your favorite character is Neo. I want to say for the record on this podcast, I probably said it before. My favorite character is Weiss. Um, yeah. I think the I do like the trope of spoiled rich kid defying uh their, what their parents sought out as destiny. Um, really big into Sundere, which we can argue. Oh God, you fucking degenerate. Uh, we can Umbra. argue whether. Stop. Me. No dog. Oh. <laughs> uh, we can argue whether day long or whether it's cool. Just admit you're degenerate, and it's fine. I mean, no one, no one will think any worse of you. <laughs> no, I just, oh, I just wanted to say on record that Weiss is probably one of my favorite char- characters. I also really like, uh, I really like Nora as a character. I like the dynamic they have set up where it's not just happy friends being happy friends. There's yeah. actually like some, a there's a, a friendship, not just a relationship there. Yeah, but Rin's being a little bitch and going, everyone leave me alone. I'm like, hey, man. Yeah, I generally, like... Stop being a bitch. I get characters have traumatic backstories and need to be explored. I don't get what his problem is. I generally don't. Like, he's just like... I I don't know, man. I feel like we're going to get to it in 
two or three weeks, but for the time being, I'm just like, Grin, stop being a bitch. I mean, he's been like that since Iron... I thought him, like, believing in Ironwood was, like, super, like, cool for their dynamic. And yeah, now it's I'm... just kind of like, okay, well, what are you going to do with it? <sighs> if Rin defects to their side, I'd be like, oh, oh that's I don't... interesting. It's not going to happen, but like, oh, okay. We, we, we got some, some thickening of the plot. I like this. Okay. Someone else, if the only way that happens is if what's his, somebody else defects to their side. Um. Who? It'd be Dog Boy. Oh, you think they're gonna have a switch, like a trade? Yeah, it'd be kind of like a trade. I I can see that. It'd be cool. I don't. I don't know what I want from them, man. I just I kind of just want the show to be over. I don't I don't need any more stress. Oh God, what is going on upstairs? I need uh, less merchandise. No, not even less merchandise. It's just I see that they're like, yeah, we're making stuff, and I'm like, I don't care what you what you made. I don't care about. I have no use for this. But not everything is is catered to one person, though. What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Mer like, when you say merchandise, you're like, oh, I don't want this. Not even that I don't want. It's like, why'd y'all make this? What is this for? Or like the, the the new water bottle they they came out with. I'm like, okay, that's cool. The sticker collection, I thought cool. Yeah, like yeah, the sticker collection was cool. The um, fuck, I gotta go back to it. The collab they had with that comic book. Yeah, the one artist. Thing, I was like, cool. Oh, these are just shirts. Oh, I didn't expect I to. I didn't expect to be anything else. I did. I was like. Cause they said uh, they didn't say apparel. They just said collab. Collab. Like, okay, I mean, cool. I mean, their collabs in the past. That's more of a business thing. Though. Their collabs in the past have been just like shirts and like. Cause like I'm, I'm so fucking things. tired of shirts. Like make something. Can I help you, Teddy? Are you good? Yeah, dude. Some stop, like stop scratching. Some like stop scratching. Can't, not can't. You can't do canvas art because that'd be too expensive to mass produce. I mean, it's just because yeah. it's just because Damn. they're trying to make the most money off of stuff like. Honestly, like, like a cool ass, cool, a cool ass poster like, would be nice. Yeah, their prints are fifty dollars, and I'm like, I don't have that. Yeah. I'm a poor. Although twenty percent off currently in the store. They're forty dollars right now with the twenty percent off, and even though I'm just like, I can't do that right now. The mugs are cool. I, I fuck these keychains. <laughs> Fuck like keychains in general. Like when they were like, "Hey, we're making the switch case." I was like, "That's cool. That's practical. I could, I could use that." Mouse pad, also practical. Phone case. Oh, okay. Not not. I'd say the not, phone not case the... is more practical than the. What you say? Uh, the, the switch mouse case? pad. I mean, that's debatable. <laughs> I mean, everybody's got like multiple phones, but not everyone uses like a mouse a computer computer yeah but not everyone Maybe. uses a mouse some people just have laptops yeah. and they don't use a mouse pad i use a fucking mouse for my laptop all the time yeah Track you're pads. you're Suck. i think you're a rare exception i i game so i have to have one but i guess the only reason like people who just generally no, you don't just plug in a controller <laughs> <laughs> yeah but I, Sorry. i'm not a heathen so i play mouse and keyboard oh no, i'm proud of you Lord of the Mouse and Keyboard and the Ayatollah with the controller. Things oh, like. Oh, these socks are cool. They're gone, but these socks are pretty cool. I like these socks. Yeah, I, I'm I an currently army bought. Old man. Off of that store, I bought an Achievement Hunter beanie and I bought uh, the Jeff Popsick shirt, the newest one. That's fair. All right, well, it's been fun, Cam. Uh, uh, thank you for having me on. No problem. Has. Uh, as always, uh, you can find my Twitter in the description, hopefully. Um, I remember. That's at KP3ADS on Twitter uh, and on Instagram. I don't use Instagram, though, so just hit me up on Twitter. Uh, I need you know, everyone to tweet pictures. pictures of don't, Sorry, don't you dare. Wait, no, no, no. People, you gotta, you gotta cut that bit? Oh, my God. What have you done? What have you no done to me? What no have you brought me to? Listen, but uh this far it's fine no nah, i'm i'm just a chill dude he likes likes what he likes he's a fucking wrestling fan 
Eh, dude, pro wrestling's great. What's the pro wrestling episode of this podcast? Oh, it'll probably never happen because he's a coward. Um, uh, do they make pro wrestling anime? Uh, Tiger that Mask. Ult- Tiger uh, Mask. Tiger Mask. Does it work? Can I watch Tiger Mask? I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll do. Um, we can talk about Tiger Mask as soon as me and Adam talk about One Piece. Oh, so never. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um. Anyway, but no, it's been fun having on. Thank you for having me on. I'm always love to be back. And look for uh, other stuff that I do that I tag normally here, but I can't think of anything right now. So, Don't you do All Systems Go? I do. I don't necessarily want to bring that up. It's like, eh. It's not, I'm not in charge of that. I'm not going to bring up something else that I do. I, Kyle, I don't care. I, I don't personally want to bring it up because I'm Oh, we can talk about Keijo. Keijo's wrestling anime. Anyway. No, but my dog starts to bark. My dog is about to you start barking. Yes, I do. When the fuck did you get a dog? I don't shake it. Always. Dog. When the fuck did you get a dog? I mean, I'm I'm at home. I'm living with my parents at the moment. That doesn't answer my question. All right, bye. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna cut my recording. Now. All right, bye. <laughs>